All right, guys, so we're going to start this off with, I want to try and do this training step by step and not show you too many crappy slides because I get bored when I watch slides. I want to show you firsthand how to do this stuff. Now, we are going to be talking about paid traffic in this training and landing pages as well. But it makes sense for you to go out there and do search engine optimization as well because it's free traffic. And you're going to probably have articles anyway, so it makes sense to just do this type of stuff. And you, can, you don't have to do this for ClickBank. You can do this for other things. The reason I've categorized things like ClickBank, Amazon and stuff is just to make it easier. But you can mix things. You can do hybrids. You can do whatever you like. But in this video here, we're going to start off and we're going to be talking about choosing a niche and finding keywords for the traffic. Okay. Um, if you've already learned how to do the website, if you don't already know, go back and watch those in the previous module. Um, and we'll, we'll work on sorting out articles and stuff in this module as well. But if you want to know how to start a website, there is a module um, on that. So we'll jump into this, guys. And um, just remember that this is really about building out an authority site in the niche. And it will take a while but to start getting traffic and stuff. Okay. So first of all, um, you're going to want to choose a niche. This is really like you need to choose something that your site's based around. Now, later on, like, if, like let's say you choose a website on sports. And then later on, you're like, okay, I want to do something different like business. You can, but just for now, trying to get your stuff ranked in Google and stuff, it's really best just to stick to one particular topic. So on this one, we're going to go with sports, uh, baseball. I've actually had some experience in this niche a long time ago uh, for a friend of mine. And we're going to talk, I'm going to show you how to do keyword, kind of keyword research um, and things like that, right? So let's jump in. Let's pretend you've got a site ready. You've started your site, you've got nothing on it, and you're like, Franklin, how do I get started with ClickBank, making money with ClickBank? Well, you need traffic. So the first logical way is to do search engine optimization. And one th good thing about search engine optimization is you can actually uh, put a Facebook tracking pixel on your website as well, and then you can use, uh, you can also make money by advertising the affiliate product to them via Facebook and even Google traffic. So I'll show you, like, like it's really powerful stuff, guys. And it can be, be real technical, but it's really powerful stuff. So we're going to use sports for this example. And we're just going to open up a few. Let's get rid of this uh, video clip here. We're going to open up a few that are at a, a good price range, around about... 20 bucks maybe kind of what's this um 20 bucks 90 my mouse is a bit um 45 i'm just going to open up a few here 61 so there's definitely lots of products okay so this one's pretty good this is a full access to a training so they've got um uh, I don't know much about basketball guys, uh, baseball guys, so whatever that is. <laughs> There's this one as well. Um, and don't worry, like I know a lot of these pages look like old and stuff, but they still make money. Okay, we can't control their their um things. And this looks like a new one. Uh, Click funnels they're using. Um, Hi, I'm Brian Harrison from CompleteHitter.com. Oh, fortunate enough to be the head baseball coach at Baldwin Wallace University here. Okay. So this product actually looks really good. Um, I like this one. So we're gonna, 197, good price, not too expensive. I, I actually find 197 is a really good price range. That's what I sell a lot of my courses for. Uh, and they do very, very well at that price range, okay? Uh, and we have testimonials. Um, things like that. This is a little bit messy, but you know, it's good. I reckon this will make sales. Okay, so let's pretend we're like, okay, we've found the niche, Franklin. We want to now promote this product. Uh, we uh, we want to get a website going with this product, things like that. Well, there's two ways we can do this, guys, and I recommend you do both. And I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, I'm going to get my pad out here. We're just going to do this on the fly. I want to like, so this is like, what you're seeing now, guys, is exactly what I do when I go out and look for it. Clickbank sites to um, to search uh, to build. Now you will need a tool, a keyword search tool. I do recommend this one, Key Search. It is seventeen dollars per month. I will leave a link below. I get a tiny commission, but you know uh, I don't expect a lot of people to purchase this. But this is the cheapest one you're going to find, and I recommend you get a good keyword tool. And you can also do rank tracking in here, so you can put your keywords in and you can follow um, follow the rankings. 
which is really, really cool. Okay, so you can put in the URL and it'll tell you what your stuff's ranking for. Okay, and that's really important. You want to actually use a site called, um, I'm going to transfer over to this. I don't know why I haven't yet. I use a site called um, serplab.uk, but that's like five bucks a month, but I should just be doing, using this. So yeah, you will need a keyword search tool, guys. It's very important. And when you're starting any business, whether it be online or offline, you need tools. Okay, so these are like, if you're a plumber, this is your hammer. Okay, this is your pipe wrench. This is your um, excavator. I don't know, whatever you're doing. Just take a drink there. But um, yeah, so these are going to be your tools, right? This is $17. Highly recommend it. You're going to need this. Don't try and do stuff on the cheap, guys, like for real. The ones that succeed in this type of business are willing to spend a little bit of money to get the tools required. Okay, so I found the niche. This is my product here. First of all, I'm going to um, list out, I'm going to be like, okay, how, what kind of keywords am I going to do? I'm going to do how to keywords and review keywords. Now, what do I mean by how to keywords? You've probably been thinking, Franklin, how can I go out there and find how, how to keywords based on this product? It's actually quite simple. I'm going to go how to hit a baseball. Okay. And we'll just let that load up. We'll get rid of all these other ones. Just oh, actually, we'll use some of these in a second, actually. Okay, so how to hit a baseball. Had 1,600 um, views per month. And you might be thinking, that's quite, that's not much. It's actually enough. Okay, because we're not, we're actually going to be using a lot of keywords, not just that particular keyword. It's all going to start to add up really, really nicely. Okay, don't worry about the score too much. I've, I've really, you know, I used to worry, like, this score is how hard that particular keyword is. See, this is actually, well, so, let, actually, let's just have a breakdown of this tool, right? I'll tell, I'll tell you exactly what it does, how it works. So, this particular tool basically extracts keywords from Google, and it's going to tell you how strong, how easy it will be to rank for these keywords or not. So, you can kind of use it, I suppose, as a guideline. For example, if we click on... Um, what are we on now? We just hit um, this one here. Yeah, baseball hitting drills. All of these green things are good. So basically, basically this is called page authority. And the higher the number, the harder they, the harder they're going to be to outrank. This one, stack.com, is um, quite a popular site. It'll probably be impossible to outrank this site because it's a massive authority in that niche. Same with YouTube. Um, Actually, no, videos are usually quite easy to outrank, so that really just depends. And then we have DA, that's Domain Authority. And then we have a few other things, that how many links are pointing to their site. Um, you know, so for example, see these ones here? One, two, three, four. They all have a page authority of one. Domain Authority is quite high, but not that bad. We can get up there. Um, no links at all, okay? So basically what this tool is telling me is if I go out and do an article better than this, I send some backlinks to that article, some good quality backlinks, I'm probably going to outrank these guys. Okay, I say probably because we don't 100% know, but I suppose, yeah. So the, the score is a good indication. I would recommend checking the scores just to give you a good indication. Um, if something is really red, like let's, for example, um, put in Bitcoin, which is real popular right now. Okay, I'll show you like an obvious, something that's so obvious that you really don't want to rank for it. See, Bitcoin is red, 82, 51, 66. And look at this. I would never, ever, ever, ever try and rank for this. It will cost me a lot of money because I'm up against people that have lots of links, authority sites, and it would be pretty much impossible for me to outrank. So in that case, I would use this score as a guideline, all right? Because it would be impossible for me to outrank. But with something like how to hit a baseball, it's a little bit different because... A lot of these sites will be old as well, so they've been sitting there for a while. They haven't been updated, which is good. But there is a lot of stuff in here that isn't read. So I don't mind too much um, about that. But if you're worried, guys, I would just do this. Um, hit volume. Um, and go for something that's... So what you want to do at this point, guys, okay, is um, you want to choose... Sorry, I'm doing this on the fly. At this point, you want to choose one main keyword that's going to be about your particular article. Okay, so I'm going to go with um, baseball hitting drills. 
down here. I'm not going to go with how to hit a baseball. I've just put that in there and it's come up with baseball hitting drills. Uh, 27 is pretty good. It's got a good volume of 2,400. Now you might be thinking about Frank, can you want to do how to, how to keywords? Don't worry. I will do those as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start writing down. So this is going to be my, we're just talking about one article here and then later on we'll talk about supporting articles. I'm going to do main article. Um, and I'm going to now change my text size uh, 18 and I'm going to put down um, what was it baseball hitting drills and that's going to be my main keyword so I'm going to be focusing my article on that particular keyword okay but what I'm going to do then is I might actually, um, I'm going to go and do some other, some other particular, some other keywords. So let's just move this over here for real quick. So I'm going to also put in um, other closely related stuff. So we'll do baseball hitting. So that's going to be one. That's actually probably more of a main keyword maybe, but baseball hitting but we won't actually need to um we won't actually need to put this in our article much because it's already going to be here anyway so what i would do is i would actually when i do my articles i wouldn't worry about putting this in my um in my article much because i'm already going to have it in here anyway so all I'm, all I'm doing now is writing these down so I can track them later. I know what to track. Oh, don't worry, it might be a little bit confusing, but we'll sort all of this stuff out a little bit later. And then I'm going to write down one more um, baseball drills. I don't really, I'll put baseball drills down as well, just for tracking, okay? This is just going to be for tracking in my tracker. Um, basically, the tracker will tell me where I am ranked in Google. So now I've got three really closely related um, related keywords here and I'm just going to stick with that um, search volume let's have a look we're looking at around about two th three thousand um, three thousand and we'll say three four uh, we'll say six seven eight we'll just say eight thousand okay per month search so that's pretty good if we can go out there and rank at least in the top ten for those p keywords we're going to get 8,000 people potentially, well, it's going to be like, you're not going to get 8,000 people clicking on your site, but you'll get 8,000 searches per month and people could possibly click on your site. Now remember guys, this is just for one article. This isn't including, um, this isn't including our supporting articles or anything like that. And we're probably going to, we're probably going to rank for a lot of random article, uh, ra random smaller keywords as well. So I actually probably predict we would be looking at something like maybe maybe 10,000 to 12,000. Now I'm just guessing searches per month because um, it's going to rank for a ton of other little keywords as well. It's, it might even rank for a lot of these, a lot of these, a lot of these. Um, batting tips, that's quite hard. Um, baseball swing. So this is a really good niche to get into. Um, we have a good product. Okay, we have some keywords we can hit um, with the key search here that we've looked for. Okay, so we've got some keywords, baseball tips. Guys, there's so many keywords we can go for. And you're going to randomly rank for a lot of these little ones anyway, um, because that's just what happens. Um, yeah, okay. So now what about review keywords? You might be thinking, what are those? Franklin? Okay, cool. We've got this product here called Complete Hitter. I will actually come back to this in a second, but we'll just do this one here. Complete. Um, oh, actually, and you know how I put in how to hit a baseball. Um, okay, how to hit a baseball. Even though I haven't chosen that, guys, for my particular, for my keywords, it doesn't matter. I just use that as a seed keyword. Because people are still going to be learning. Uh, people are still going to be going to my page with the mindset they're going to be learning how to um, do baseball drills or how to hit a baseball drills or whatever. It's still going to be in their mind how to, but I just use the how to as a um, seed keyword. 
because nothing like nothing's or like your your method and strategy is not always going to be the same like you're not when you for for example when i search this keyword something might pop up that's different and that's exactly what happened here we have baseball hitting drills baseball hitting baseball drills so it doesn't it doesn't mean that you have to just stick to how to keywords you go and get what's got some good search volume and what you think you could rank for okay cool easy and i could easily go and rank for this um i might even try we might even be in the same comp we might even be competitors i don't know so i'm gonna go um complete hitter review okay now you now this probably will have no search volume guys zero i expect this to have no search volume but that's okay and i'll tell you why in a second we'll just let this load up let's get a drink real quick um before we jump back in it's taken a while maybe it does have some search volume um maybe it's never searched this keyword before but this is a really good product guys like 197 that's a good product this is an extremely good product so it makes sense to go out there and um you know do something about this okay as suspected guys complete hitter review has zero results okay volume if i click on this it's a score of 17 pretty easy um and there's not much like really ranking We've got some amazon stuff that's sometimes hard to outrank but that's okay now why do i not care if the complete hitter review is got no search for example this actually looks like a new offer i've never seen it before and i regularly um look on clickbank it looks like it could be a new offer because they're using a new platform as well and i've never seen this before so that's one reason why i don't mind if it's zero it could be a new offer and the best thing about that is um I could rank up the top before anybody else. The second thing is when people come to this um, article and I have this thing about my ba baseball hitting drills, okay, um, <clears throat> I'm going to have a pitch for the product. At the end, I'm probably going to be like, hey, you know, if you're interested in more advanced stuff, check out this product um, about hitting. Cool. What a lot of people will do is they'll go back into Google search and they'll search complete hitter review. And of course, your site will hopefully be there because for example number one there's no competition right now there's like literally nothing 17 is really low even though i said don't worry about the score too much 17 is very very low so we're, we're probably going to rank at the top second you can do a supporting article on complete hitter review and you can link it to your main article and that becomes a supporting article or you can do it the other way around you can link your main article to your supporting review article and people might click, like you could be like hey check out our review and they might go click and look at the review and that's the next step to get them to purchase because a lot of people won't actually purchase until they read a review okay so you want to be doing review keywords um you know mainly just uh let's uh what's another example um there's an, a product called VertShock, and I used to, I actually probably still do rank the top 10 for VertShock review. I make some money from it, but if I did how to shoot a basketball or how to basketball drills, I would probably get a lot more traffic um, because we want to make our article, our main article, like the bomb article. And then that's what, that's where, how we're going to get all of our traffic. And then, um, and then they're going to go check out the review and stuff because we're going to pitch the product inside the article now this is where a lot of people go wrong they'll just go out and do articles on complete hitter review and they're going to get no traffic so you need to have a traffic source and a good way to have a traffic source guys is for how to keywords which is what i just showed you um, in this example and we went out and got some keywords but i do recommend doing both the how, the how to stuff and the review keywords and stuff like this review hit a scam is another great keyword because um let's just make this a little bit tidier complete complete oh what's gone out of our size complete hit a review um complete hit a scam 
Okay, so complete hitter scam. Complete hitter, guys. Complete hitter has 40 searches per month. That's not a lot, but it's still it's still some good search volume. So you'd probably nearly rank for that too. Um, so complete hitter scam um, is another keyword we can go for because it's like a. Um, let me just get a diagram out. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, I'll show you what I mean right on this page. You have your main article. Oh, that's really big. I'm trying to like explain this in the best way possible so you kind of understand. We have the main article right here that we've created, which is this stuff here. So this is how we're getting our traffic, guys, okay? All of our traffic is coming to this particular article, okay? Awesome. Then what most people do is they go back to Google and they do a search for this these keywords. And then you're going to have another article hopefully ranked at the top and then they're going to click that and then hope some of them will purchase and you'll collect money. So basically you want to dominate that entire space, uh, if you know what I mean. And I'll show you how to do that throughout the training. But yeah, it's kind of like if you just go like for a like for a um, product like this, you can't just go and do a, um, a review article. Sure, you'll get some sales because other people will probably have a um, uh, sites out about it, whatever people are searching, it. but you're not going to make a lot of money because there's not a lot of traffic volume. So you have to create the traffic volume if you know what I mean. Most of the people are going to purchase here or you might have an email list and you'll put them on the email list and you might advertise that email list and then you'll make money there. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do all that. Okay. But the whole point I'm trying to um, say here is you need to create the um, traffic at this point because there is actually no traffic for complete header review and complete header scam. Okay, now there's actually another um, method we'll do in the next video. We won't do that right now. This is just kind of the starting. But I hope you kind of understand what I mean um, is that you have to go out and create the traffic yourself by looking for high traffic keywords first and then funneling that traffic through to a review maybe or whatever. But either way, uh, either way, you're going to be doing a review article anyway because it's going to be helping your site become an authority in that niche anyway. And you can do reviews on heaps of products, guys. You can you can go and do reviews on these on 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 this one as well. Like you don't just have to have like you can make your entire site a massive basketball site talking about all of these products and it becomes a dominant site in that niche, which will be a hell of a lot. It'll be so easy to do in this niche, um, but how? how to hit a baseball because it's an oh how to hit a baseball because it's an easy niche there's there's volume um, there's easy keywords um, and what I'll do uh, actually we'll do it in the third video of this I'll tell you how to check out the top 10 but okay how to hit a baseball but anyway oh yeah so how to hit a baseball so I get that up again um, you'll see that a lot of the keywords are pretty easy and there's lots of other keywords and they've got good volume. Um, yeah, so that's it like guys for this. Uh, this is kind of the start of the process for me. I go out there and I just think to myself, okay, my main article needs to get some traffic of some sort. Just some type of traffic. It doesn't have to be a lot. It could be 5,000 searches total per month. Or if you want to get more traffic, you just keep adding more keywords to this um, like proper baseball swing for oh god what I do there so for example I might go proper baseball swing I'm gonna maybe also um I spelled that right no I might go and um, add that into my article as well so you can do lots of little keywords which a friend of mine does and he does very very well uh, with doing that and I think proper baseball swing that's not bad or teaching kids baseball perfect Batting swing is another one. Um, yeah, so guys, I think I've gone on long enough in this particular video. I think you get the idea. But your your main goal is to try and get traffic. Um, and you're going to be doing all of these methods anyway because you should be building out an authority site in these particular niches um, to try and get the traffic some way. Or if you're going to do paid traffic, but we'll talk about that later. All right, so yeah, this, um, this is how I start, guys. And what we'll do now is move on to the next video um, and we'll go over how to um, do the review style stuff, the 1v1 stuff, and then I'll go through on how to check the top 10. All right, guys?